hello from Bear River. It's uh, March 9th, 2022. It's about 11, getting on to 11. It's like 55 degrees or 53. The flow is 33 cubic feet per second. And I just listened to the song about the river by Ray Zaragoza on KBMR. Miss Jeff played it. it made me cry as always because in the river is our sisters and our brothers. And at Standing Rock we were camping out for each other. And we're stronger when we stand together and we're standing up for the water because water is life and this is our life coming down Bear River. Thirty-three CFS. And um, I actually got a response from the general manager at NID about the flows, and I was so happy because they're paying attention at least to the flows and um, seeming to not want to destroy the river. So that's really wonderful, and um, I hope that they listen and learn more about how not to destroy the river, and I hope the state fish and wildlife will help them. But, you know, on another thing, they're the ones that allowed the flows, the minimum flows, to go below sustainable. And anything below sustainable is a pathway to extinction. And um, these people are like, oh, we have to supply our users, we have to make money, um, and all this other stuff. And they're saying that's more important than the survival of the river, and it's not. You know, we need to have the, the, the river and the ecology is the trunk of the tree. The hydro, the consumptive use of water are the branches. If you allow the trunk to go dry, eventually the branches will break off because um, the resourcing, the sustainable source is the trunk. It is the river and the water. This is the trunk of the tree. The other stuff is a limb. So like they say, oh, you cut off your nose to spite your face, cut the trunk, and you're sitting on a limb. And um, someday, hopefully, people will understand that the health of the river sustains the limbs. That's why they were able to take water like they did. And what's happening is it's collapsing upon itself because our paradigm is wrong. <laughs> They're like, oh, we have to have minimum flows and, and sustained flows and... I don't know, unimpaired flows. That's the life that's going through the river. And that's why the river lives. That's why these willows are growing. That's why this life brings water in by its life. The trees and the life here attracts the water from the air. That's what collects it, and um, I think there's a, a disconnect with a lot of people because I guess they just think it happens. It just happens. There isn't life dancing all around us, but I want to remind you, in the river is our sisters and our brothers. We are standing up. We're camping out for each other. We're stronger when we stay together. And we're standing up for the water. Don't poison our future away. Mani Wachoni, water is life.